Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. So I'd like to um, go into a topic which is discussed many, many times, but I believe um, based on what happened in Europe recently, um, I'd like to go into it one more time. So when it comes to about the communication um, strategy of Tesla, we all know that Tesla is different to other car makers or other companies that communicate in a different way. I don't want to criticize it too much, but I would like to give you a few examples. The way they do it in China, um, in the case of people um, saying that something is wrong with the car, but it's just um, not true. It is correct to go against these people because it is something that can hurt the brand of Tesla. And this is very important. Now, what we have recently experienced in Germany, but as well in Europe, and you might be aware of that if you're waiting for a Tesla, is that from one day to the other day, we had a major delay in um, delivery times. So um, this is something where I would wish that Tesla would communicate that with us, um, especially as most of us or people who are doing YouTube and Tesla YouTube um, might all know that it is very hard to get some proven information why this is happening. So first of all, um, Tesla is producing at a rapid speed in Shanghai. And yes, the factory was closed, but we know that soon the um, production will be higher than um, before the lockdown. So what's weird is, is that people in Europe that have a Model 3 performance are actually receiving a delay of almost five to six months. So even though we had a lockdown, this makes actually no sense if you just take this crazy time frame. Furthermore, we had the issue that for new people ordering right now at Tesla, delivery times have not changed. So it makes no sense that some people have moved back so far way back. That makes no sense at all. Furthermore, we had Grünheide, Germany, Giga Berlin delays as well. But there are no issues we are actually knowing about. So I posted in my German channel a video about software issues because that is what sales advisors were giving us as information. Again, some people contact me over email and I made a video and it was just going through the roof in Germany. The case behind that is if Tesla would actually tell us what the truth is behind that, if it's really a delay, um, then we would all be sure what the um, problem is and we could um, plan accurately. Um, we can try to get a different car for the time being until the new car comes. So this is something I would wish for in the future when it comes to Tesla communication. And I do really love Tesla, but I think at that case, um, it is much better to get an official statement from Tesla rather than having rumors and information that we are all not sure about if it's true or not. Especially um, with the situation that I just described, many, many informations, um, if you combine them together, um, really show that it makes actually no sense that some people get such major delays. On the other hand, sales advisors, I have met a few in the past, um, they are sometimes having the issue that they don't even know as much as we do. Um, so they're having the same information. They don't get any information from above, barely, especially in um, Europe. So again, guys, I do think, and uh, please let me know if you agree, um, that sometimes it would really be better for Tesla to get some official statements at points like right now when it comes to major delays so customers can be sure what is the truth and they can plan in the future. Thank you very much for being here today and do subscribe for more.